Welcome in to Tornado Watch. I'm your host, Chris Mangrum, and our guest today is Matt Bilbrook of King's Esports team. Welcome into the show, Matt. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Glad to speak with you today a little bit about the esports program here at King. Now, you're in your second year on campus, and you're all the way from Deer Park, Washington. Yeah. So you've come all the way across the country here to play esports here at King. Tell us a little bit about that decision. Um, well, it was, a, it was a long road um, of, you know, trying to figure out the recruiting process. It was something completely new to me. Um, wasn't even expected at first, but, um, yeah, King just stood out to me because it was like, uh, the people here were very outgoing, especially Frank, um, compared to the other esports directors at other colleges, was more caring about me as a person. Mm -hmm. And um, just when I got here for the visit, it was just like the same atmosphere as I got from communicating online. So yeah, um, it was very welcoming. So tell us a little bit about the games that you compete in, and if you have a favorite, which one and why? Um, well, up to this point, I've just competed in Rocket League, um, but this semester I'm competing in Valorant also, just more for fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I really do enjoy Rocket League, and it is my favorite game to play. You actually played a vital role with King's Rocket League team here in the fall, I guess, as you all won the 2021 ECAC Championship. Tell us a little bit about that tournament, and especially the championship match. Um, okay, so the tournament, um, we didn't go into it as um, necessarily a top seed. We were, I think, eighth seed going into it um, because of the league play. We had dropped a couple matches earlier in the season. Mm -hmm. um, but we came in wanting to win um, that league because we had always gotten very close to winning the championship, um, but never won. We've gotten second place, third place, you know, never won something. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, we, there's definitely nerves going into it, um, but we knew we needed to prove ourselves and establish ourselves as a program. And so we um, just went through the playoffs, taking one game at a time and ended up winning. And in that championship match, I believe you all were down, was it two to one and had a comeback at the end, is that right? Yep, um, we were down two to one in the series. It was a best of seven series, um, and we came back and won four to two. So we got some momentum going and, and just, just swept right through. Well, our esports program has established itself among uh, one of the nation's best programs with that championship, and now they're heading into their spring season with several more matches coming up. Uh, you can check out a lot of information about our esports program and even, in some cases, watch them live on their Twitch stream. Uh, you can find all that information on the esports page on kingtornado.com. Matt, thanks for being here with us, and that has been Tornado Watch. We'll see you next time.